We need to know what led to the death of Mr. Leonard. The community needs to know that. Not quite three years after being released from prison and exonerated of a crime he did not commit, Leonard Cure was shot and killed during a traffic stop on I-95 in South Georgia Monday morning. The Camden County NAACP wants to know why. Let the community um, see the video because there needs to be a trust restored within our community. Right now, black and brown people in our community, they have very little trust in our sheriff's department. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says Cure assaulted the deputy while he was trying to arrest him. The agency says the officer tased Cure twice before shooting him. The GBI did not say why Cure was initially pulled over. It's just an utter tragedy. And um, here's someone who was a good person, um, good, good, you know, to his close with his family, good to his family, good to everyone around him, and to have him um, gone in, in, in this way is just devastating. Seth Miller with the Innocence Project of Florida says Cure received compensation for his wrongful incarceration and used the money to buy his first home. Miller says it's impossible to say what happened without seeing the video, but thinks the traffic stop may have been a charged encounter. Most people who are wrongfully convicted and incarcerated long term for crimes they didn't commit bring with them trauma that can trigger them at any moment when when faced with the prospect of being sent back for something they didn't do. The Camden County Sheriff's Office declined to comment on the shooting. Besant says the community deserves transparency. We are demanding change within this department. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.